Hello, just doing a quick tutorial here. This is going to be on the multi-link to controllers setting that is in FL Studios. Recently found out to use it, so I thought it might be just be some useful information for yourself as well. What does this basically setting do? What basically what this setting basically does, shall I say, <laughs> um, is link um, faders and sliders to parameters within a plugin or VST. Um, you can also use this to set these um, faders and knobs to parameters as your default setting. So every time you load up your, your plugin, um, it will load up these settings as well. So, how do we go about this? Simple. All we need to do is load up a plugin or a VST. It could be an effect, as you can see here in our mix channel, or it could be a VST, uh, for example. Um, I don't know, massive, nature massive, or anything like that. Could could be some sound source. So it could even be um, a beat map. So you could select some of these settings as well to change. It's really up to you. So once we've loaded up our effects, I've got the seven band EQ here, just for simple terms. All we need to do is select this multi link to controllers button make sure that's glowing yellow and then you know it's selected as on. What we need to do now is every parameter we select will be linked to a controller. So what we do is select one we want, just move it about and you're done. Next one is you move that and I'll just move all in time so we can select these a lot. Okay, so now that's done, we go back over to our button and right click. If you want to set these as just for this project, um, just for this one insert um, effect, you won't need to bother about this. But if you want this as your default every time, just hit overwrite generic links. And what this does is every time you load up this um, effect, you will have your um, keys um, and your knobs selected as the controllers so you won't need to each time remap them which is really really useful so we just select that as on and what we do now is one just hit it's use the one we want so I'll move this one or move this one move this one move this one move this one um, and I'll move that one so there we go And as you can see now, we should have on the screen our EQs moving. There we go. Like so. That's perfect. If you didn't want to use that, all you could do is just move it and select it off. And then it will just be sorted like that for you. Okay, so what I could do with this is just move this over to a new channel so if I wanted to load it up into a separate channel I've got insert one here and you can see every time I move it it's moving my controls and I've also got this linked to um, where did it go it's an EQ here we go this per, uh, parametric EQ I've got them all moved all settings See, uh, there we go. So, so yeah, I've linked a few of these. So every time I load these settings up, um, we get permanent controls within our controller. You can also do it with um, plugins. So I've got Van Vanguard from ReFX here. As you can see these are all mapped I've got I don't think I've got anything these mapped no, not the sliders but there we go as you can see in the envelopes they are moving in time and I've also got these buttons switched on and off these switch um, your reverb, delay um, arpeggiator and the glide on and off 
Ah, here we go. We've got sliders to the volume, resonance, um, there's the overdrive, and the spread. So yeah, you can do it to pretty much any controller you want. And this is just a, a little overview of how to use it with FL Studio and a MIDI controller. So this little tutorial has been useful. If you want to post a comment, feel free in the in below. Um, yeah, so until next time, practice and enjoy.